All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Salutations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And uh, this is going to be a quick lesson uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and it's concerning wisdom. All right, wisdom. Right, something that um you know is that something that's not too popular in this world that we live in currently, which is what America, Babylon the Great, right? Because this this society is really bred off of um, carnality, all right, and foolishness, all right, and vanity, all right. And since uh, we've woken up to who we are, we've actually came into what it, wisdom actually is, all right. By serving the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who is wisdom, which is tells you in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, all right, so that we may receive um, a glorious kingdom, all right, because ultimately what wisdom bringeth to a kingdom, discipline, understanding, knowledge, all right, bringeth to a kingdom, all right, and this we see around us that this kingdom is going out. Why? Because it's it's not ruled. Through wisdom, it's ruled through wickedness. So the fact that we've came into this knowledge of wisdom, all right, it's actually a beautiful gift. All right. So I'm gonna get a couple of precepts just to uh, prove the point. All right. This is uh, Proverbs three. This is Proverbs three and thirteen. It says, "Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding." So with this wisdom, you have to get the understanding of the wisdom that you're reading. All right, and that comes with that comes with time. All right, so you have a lot of our people waking up in these last days, and they're coming into the wisdom. All right, but after that, you get the understanding, and then the wisdom is that much more enhanced. All right, and ultimately, this wisdom, all right, is from Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. This wisdom is from the heavens. The wisdom written in the scriptures, the understanding that is given to you is from the heavens to understand the wisdom. All right, because we live in a world of what wickedness. All right. Uh, disorder, all right, degeneracy. Why? Because this world is not ruled off of wisdom. Let me get a scripture real quick. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 22. It says, The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the council of sinners prudent. So the council of the people on the earth is nothing that is uh, to be considered as prudence. All right. The prudent man, the wise man are the men of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Starting with the apostles and elders on down of Great Millstone. They are the men of wisdom. We are the men of wisdom. All right. And what? We're the light and beacon of wisdom. So that our people come to the light and they... They uh they dive into and they adhere to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the of the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, because it tells you in Isaiah 33 and 6. Let's get that real quick. It tells you in Isaiah 33 and 6, we can close that out. That is going to be the stability of our times. Alright, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge and understanding needs of remember and understanding wisdom. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So if you fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, you're going to walk in his ways. You're going to walk in wisdom. You're going to walk in this world with understanding of things, all right, so that you can utilize the wisdom, all right, to tip tap, to tap dance and tiptoe around this uh, society, like Apostle Tahar stated in, uh, I believe, in his, the, their live show, uh, you know, a week ago. This is what the Lord's given us this wisdom for. So that we can utilize it because the things that's happening now, this world, the the the, the so-called knowledge and understanding of this world, which is really wickedness, is fading. All right. You got all these different types of sports outlets and bars and, and madness and folly. And, you know, even the, the so-called wise men of this world, their wisdom is so-called wisdom is fading. Why? Because it's not of the Lord. All right. Through all, all these things we experience in this flesh, in this life, in America, Babylon, the great, all right, the things we see, all right, the, 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 the total, um, the total, uh, 
disorder of the of, of the people. All right. This is all this all comes through what? The knowledge of wickedness, man, which is not uh, a counsel of prudence, man. So this is why it's important that we get this wisdom and we start utilizing it so that we get more understanding. The Lord will bless us with more understanding if we're actually applying the wisdom. All right. We'll see why that wisdom helped us get through this situation so on and so forth why because the lord will give you understanding through using and utilizing his wisdom that's what he means by this wisdom and knowledge being the stability of thy times i'm gonna read it again isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the lord these people in this world don't fear the lord all right, these people in this in this world fear what man can do to them. These people in the in the in the world fear of uh, of lo losing jobs. All right, these people of the world fear of being ostracized by the this society, being looked down upon by the society. We don't because we understand that the people of this society and the rulers of this society are all in a degenerate mindset. They're all wicked. All right, and it says the council of sinners, which these people are in the society is not prudence so we walk contrary to that spirit which is what utilizing wisdom knowledge and understanding discernment and discretion and this is what's going to keep us stable while these people around us drop perish starting to bug out these people are already bugging out people are taking the jabs they're regretting it <laughs> jobs are jobs are being lost people are not knowing what to do they don't know where to turn why? Because they have chosen, they have chose wickedness over wisdom. And this is to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. A good portion of them, two-thirds that it speaks of in Zechariah the 13th chapter, have chosen the council of sinners. They have chosen wickedness, which is not knowledge, which is not prudence. Okay, all the things that happen in this world, the 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 the, the, the mundane things of this life, all right. King uh, King Solomon, who is Yahweh Shai, spoke of it, man. It's nothing compared to wisdom, man. It excelleth all these things because all this stuff is really folly. Let me get a scripture real quick. I'm going to bounce. Let me this is Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is set in great dignity. So wisdom is not set in great dignity in this world. Folly is. Okay, let's get this, let's see what this word folly means. Folly, lack of good sense, foolishness. Okay, that's what's set forth in this world. Okay, not prudence, not, um, <laughs> not wisdom, not discernment or discretion, folly, wickedness, all right, and degenerate actions. That's what's set forth in this world. It says, and the rich sit in a low place. The rich are talking about the men and women that utilize wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, discernment, and discretion. They sit in a low place. That's the elect. That's the one-third of Israel. You see? But we understand, all right, at the end of the day, that this is going to uh this is gonna disappear. Let's see if I can start here. This is uh 1 Corinthians 1 and 21. It says, for after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world, by wisdom, knew not the Most High. So this world doesn't know the Most High, man. These people always claim they believe in God this, they believe in God that. <laughs> Ultimately, they don't because they don't utilize his ways. They don't, use a lot, they don't utilize the wisdom that comes forth from the Most High because why? The Most High has not given it unto the people of this world. He has given it unto a select group of men. On this planet to spread forth all right, to an elect group of people all right, known as the elect of Israel, the nation of Israel, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. That's it. That's why I started the scripture, the, the, the lesson with happy is the man who findeth wisdom. We should be happy. We should be rejoicing that the Lord has seen us fit and put us into a body and given us a spirit all right, that is compatible with wisdom. That's a blessing. OK. Because the people of this world, they're going to pine away through what? Not being prudent all right, and not uh, uh, going after wise counsel. Because these people don't know what prudence is. They don't know what wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is. All right, So this is going to benefit us more because what? The Lord has given us a spirit all right, to be compatible with wisdom. He's given them the spirit to what? Disregard wisdom. 
All right. And that's going to be their punishment. That's their judgment. All right. First Corinthians one and twenty one. For after that, in the wisdom of the most high, the world by wisdom knew not the most high. It pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Why? Because once you uh, wake up to this wisdom, knowledge and understanding, this actually allows you to maintain and uh, maintain stability, man. Especially in the times we're going into these crazy times. All right. The Lord, through wisdom, knowledge and understanding, discernment and discretion. All right. Has all types of situations all right, that are going to play out in these last days. And we're going to have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to what? Tap dance and get around them. Through what? Prudence. Through what? Wise counsel. That is a, what is considered as wisdom. All right? Which means that what? Yahweh Shai has actually given us given us this. Because at Yahweh Shai, who we serve, who we worship, <laughs> contrary to the uh, popular belief in Israel, all right, he is wisdom. Okay? He is wisdom. And us being adhered to him is going to give give us what stability during these times, right? Okay. Let's go to Ecclesiastes two, and I'm gonna end it off here. I don't want to make it too long. This is Ecclesiastes two and eleven. Then I looked on all the works. This is King Solomon, who is Yahweh Shai, who is wisdom. All right, King Solomon was known as one of the wisest men in the East. All right. Ecclesiastes 2 and 11. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do. So all this working, all this, all this uh, people uh, 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 travailing, <laughs> jobs, people going out to party. All right. People going to the, the Christian church, people celebrating birthdays, pagan holidays. All this stuff is vanity. All the, all the things we labor for is vanity. You see? And this is what Yahweh Shai experienced when he was King Solomon. He had everything. He experienced and, 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 and dabbled in everything. And he understood that what? It's all folly and vanity. All right, let's keep reading. Ecclesiastes 2 and 11. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. But there is one profit. Wisdom is what we've been given in these last days. All right. Starting with the apostles and elders on down to all the brothers around the world, we've been given wisdom, which excelleth everything on this earth, which is going to give us stability of mind, which is what ultimately going to bring us forth to a kingdom. All right. Ecclesiastes 2 and 12. And I turned myself to behold wisdom. That's what we did. That's what the Lord put a spirit on us to do in these last days. That's why you came into the truth. The Lord put a spirit on you to turn yourself to wisdom, to behold it. And that's what we're doing. We're beholding Yahweh Shai and his works on the planet, all right, and utilizing his spirit that he's given us, which is what? A spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discretion, and discernment, man, which is the spirit we should have, all right? Ecclesiastes 2 and 12, and I turn myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly, all right? So brothers go out, we all, we, we, we you know, brothers go out and we'll go to the bar, but it's really vanity. We go out, you know, just to have like a little breather. You know, like the brother Benji here is to let your spiritual hair down, you know, <laughs> but all of this is vanity. It's nothing better than wisdom, man, at the end of the day. And we have the same mindset as King Solomon. All right. Why? Because we've turned to behold wisdom through these scriptures, through serving the Lord. All right. It says, and I turn myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly for what can the man do that cometh after the king? Even that which hath been already done. All this stuff has been done already. All getting with the finest woman, drinking the finest alcohol, having having a good amount of money, having a nice car with a nice chariot. All right. Sleeping. All right. But nothing excelleth the spirit to understand wisdom in these last days, man. It excelleth folly and vanity. All right. And it's going to ultimately, like I said, again, bring us to the kingdom. Lord willing, we are the elect and we endure to the end. Ecclesiastes 2 and 13 then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly, and as far as light excelleth darkness. All right? Hasn't didn't the scripture say that we are the children of the day? We are the we are the men of light. It tells you that we're a beacon. 
All right, Isaiah, the 60th chapter, the, the light has risen upon us. That's this wisdom. This light hasn't risen upon these people of the world, man. And a lot of Israelites, the light hasn't risen upon them either. Because they don't, they don't deal in wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discretion and discernment. So they're still in darkness. You see? That's why we have to utilize this wisdom to the best of our ability so that what? It shall keep us stable and ultimately do what? Bring us to a kingdom. And I'm going to get that. Wisdom bringeth to a, I think that's it. Bear me one second. Yep, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon there. King Solomon once again. <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon 6. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. It says, Therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, because we want to rule, we want to be the next rulers of the world. All right? Hence, the Lord said, take heed to this. King Solomon, take, who is Yahweh Shai, said, take heed to this. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that she may reign forevermore because this wisdom is going to carry us past these people of the world. These people are pining away. No wisdom, no light. They're in darkness. So they're going to, all these people around us, if we remain in wisdom, we are going to remain, uh, we're going to remain the light of this world, man. <laughs> We're going to actually see, all right, and experience people in this world perish around us, man. Not physically, not just physically, mentally, man. Why? Because they have no light, no wisdom. You see? Verse 22, as for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you. And I will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. This is what Yahweh Shai did. This is what King Solomon did. He brought forth wisdom by doing what? All right. By writing these things, by letting us know, by giving information on what it is to have wisdom, what wisdom is, what wisdom gives you access to. All right. What wisdom uh, 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 allows you to abstain from. These people don't have that, man. So we have a beautiful gift. All right. So we have to continue to maintain it. And this is a great chapter to read. I'm not going to read it all, you know, but the whole point of the lesson was to what? Cherish and praise. All right. The fact that the Lord has given us the spirit of wisdom in these last days, man. So Lord willing, that was edifying call. Hello. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstones. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling well in the scriptures. Salutations to all you Akim across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.